Sullivan put in his papers, retiring at 42. And I asked him why. You know what he said to me? He said, Tony, I got a four-year-old kid who I don't think I can trust anymore. I mean, I'm starting to think that he's lying about everything he says. How awful is that? You know, Sully got out because he knew this was no way to raise a family. This job will make you a believer in just how far gone we are. Didn't used to be that way around here. Now there's nothing left worth saving. We're fucking garbage, man. Sully quit because he was a shitty detective and his father-in-law owned that chain of sports bars. And will you get some new material already? That fucking garbage man bit. How fucking trite is that? You know that bit's so fucking old that when you were young, that bit was still old. That's how fucking old that bit is. You think I'm fucking old? I'm not much older than you are, fucko. You'll see how quickly life goes by. How quickly life degrades with every despicable transaction with these dregs. Day by day, eroding. Yeah, you'll see. Yeah, well, just give the Glory Day speech a rest before you even get it started. One bullshit, cliche story a day is plenty. Some of us here are still trying to clear cases. What's up your ass with this, Chris? It's a waste of time. We gotta start pursuing this shit. Let's put in the negative stats. I mean, how many bodies have they got out of Argyle Park this year so far? Six, including this one. See, nobody gives a shit. There's no cooperation down there. I mean, who are we helping? Just another kid face down on the curb, waiting for us to pick him up. We're fucking garbage, man. That's not true. We actually got a few things off the canvas. And this isn't just another kid. We also got pretty lucky with that unit that was in the area that heard the shots, since he was uh, able to secure the scene before anyone fucked with it. Well, that's a miracle. You know, we've been doing this since last night. I don't even know where we are. My head's swimming. Take it from the top. All right. Victim's name is Tyrell Truman, age 18, no priors. Uh, parents both deceased. Lives with his grandmother on the west side of the park and is the younger brother to one Donovan Truman, who essentially controls all the drugs and prostitution in the entire metro area. The victim was killed by a single shot from a shotgun. We're still waiting for ballistics for more on that. We also found some 9mm shell casings at the scene. Well, that's all we got? No. Old neighborhood lady saying she heard a man yell D just before the first shots were fired. You're kidding. We actually got someone who cooperated down there? That's right. So much for no cooperation in the park. You really got your finger on the pulse of the community here, don't you, detective? All right, you surprised me. It doesn't happen very often. But that's interesting, this D. Could be Donovan ordered the hit on his brother. Sounds like a logical way to go. I doubt it. A guy that big, killing his own brother in the street? Besides, how many people you think have the nickname D in the park? I don't know. You know, all I know is I'm starving. Let's go get a burrito. Yeah, all right. The detective's just down the street. So You said, uh, Truman runs pussy now. Yeah. His name came up a lot when I was in Vice. Nothing we could ever stick to him. We bust a girl who worked for a pimp who worked for Truman. Of course, the pimp would never talk, so nothing got any further than that. Truman's on the top now. He's got his hands in everything. Yeah, but some of the girls knew a few things. They open up a little bit more when you get to know them on the street. You help them, they help you. Junkies and hookers? 
You can't trust a word out of their mouths. Yeah, well, you better hope we can. Because unless they find a print on those shells that we found last night, the only lead we have right now is D. Well, I guess that means we gotta go talk to some of those hookers. Close. We're gonna go talk to Scab, see what he knows. Scab. And right after I'm done eating, you know, I hate that scumbag. I mean, why do you bring this shit to him anyhow? He's just a damn dope fiend. Well, because he knows Argyle Park better than anybody else. He's on the street 24-7, so he'll be easy to find. And besides, I've helped him out in the past, and he likes me, so I know he'll give us something if we could use it. And stop trying to act like he's never helped us out before. Fine, whatever. Let's just get it over with. What's up, Byron? Hello? Last night? Good. No, I was with Marcus at the lanes. What's up? What happened? What do you mean Tyrell's dead? Yeah, somebody tried to jack the drop last night, man. Donovan's fucking pissed off. He think it's one of the crew. You seen Bobby, though? No, man. Not for a few. All right. Yo, we meet them at the warehouse tonight. You don't show up, you fucking guilty, all right? Understood. Hey, we'll get those cocks up. All right, dog. I'll see you up there. Stop. Fuck! What the fuck was Demo doing last night? Hey, motherfucker! Uh, fuck! Uh, I, I don't know! Look, a few days ago, Demo pulled me aside. He gave me a grand. He said if anybody asked to say he was with me at the lanes last night. So that's what I did, and that's what I'm telling you, but I didn't know. I'm fucking telling you, I didn't know my mother's grave! I'm fucking telling you! Dump this motherfucker and get with him quick, alright? Let's go. What a shithole. Been looking for you, scab. Detective Baker, Detective Rizzo, what brings you guys down to paradise? Looking for a little info on last night's shooting. Tyrell Truman, what's the rumpus on that? Step into my office. So, uh, crazy shit with that kid getting killed. You know, it wasn't even involved in any of this. He was a good kid, high school basketball star. Uh, you know, not to mention who his brother is. His brother's a killer. We got info they had a falling out. You got a word on that? Nah, nah, that don't sound right. Donovan loved that kid, man. You know, uh, made sure he was always protected. Didn't want him getting caught up in this. I told you that was a dead end. Nah, that's all bullshit. So what is the word? Uh, Queen got the new A-bomb. Word on the street is uh, kid got killed and uh, some somebody's gonna pay. What the fuck is an A-bomb? The dope man, that's how they say it on the street. The Prez dropped the A-bomb. Means a new package hit. Well, who's this Prez anyway? You know who I mean, asshole. The Prez, Donovan fucking Truman. Hey, don't mess with me or I'm gonna knock your fucking teeth out. Fuck you, Rizzo. Hey, Baker, why are you bringing this fucking dick down here anyway? All right, all right, everybody relax, all right? Hey, Frizz, I got this. Why don't you take a back seat? A fine. Hey, it's hey, Scat. 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 It's big money you're talking to, okay? And we go way back, and I know you know something about what happened here last night, okay? So just give us a little something we could bite on, 
I could get this asshole out of here and you could go on with the better part of your day, all right? You're okay, Baker, man. I, I was gonna tell you. I heard Jamal say that uh, he heard the Queen say it wasn't a rival crew. So Truman's gang did the deed? Yeah, they're taking inventory on where everybody was last night. Who's Queen, Scab? I don't, I don't know her real name, man. Uh, somewhere up on Liberty, but I, I couldn't say for sure. She, uh, you know, if they get the package there, she cooks up the mix, they split it. That's, that's all I can tell you, man. Sorry, man, that's all I got, Bacon. No, no, Scab. You did good, Scab. All right? You stay out of trouble. All right? Yeah. We need to get with narcotics to see if we could get a real name on this queen in a place of residence. I'll call it in when we're on our way back to the house. Yeah, she can give us a shooter. But we can roll him into Truman. We can pick him off. 